In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a super super simple XP farm for the brand new 1.21.44 edition of Minecraft Bedrock. And guys, this XP farm is truly infinite and also super easy to build and can literally get you more than 30 levels per potion of infestation. And this farm is super beginner friendly and of course will work on all Minecraft Bedrock platforms including MTPE, PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and Windows 10 editions. And before I get into the video, as you guys can see on screen right now, only about 1.2% of you watching are actually subscribed. So if you guys found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing as it really loves me a lot. And without wasting any more time, here's everything you need to build this farm and to build this farm you will need three slabs you'll need two trapdoors of any kind a sand block a water bucket a zombie and a couple armadillos i'll tell you guys how you can get those later on a boat of any kind and a cactus so go ahead and grab all these items and the first step in building this farm is to make a three by three hole like this and break it fully in and now you're going to want to make this three blocks deeper so in total it should be four blocks deep and once you're done with that make your way to any of the corners and dig out by two blocks and make it two blocks high just like this. Once you've done that, go up by two blocks until you see the outside world. And in here, you're going to want to place down a trap door. And now in the center of the hole, place down a sand block. On top of that, place down a cactus. Now on top of that cactus, you're going to want to place in another trap door. And once you're done placing in the cactus, grab your water bucket and place it on the opposite corner where you dug out this channel. So right here. And if you did everything correctly, the water should flow exactly like so. And now using some of the material that we got from digging out this hole, place two blocks like this on all four sides. And once you've done that, this next step is optional, but if you guys want, you can fill this in or replace it with some glass blocks like this so you can see what's happening inside the farm. And once you're done with these steps, your farm should look like this. Now go ahead and place down a slab right here. Now go ahead and place down a boat like this, get in it and push it as far as you can into the slab just like so. So make sure that yours looks a little like this. Now you can get out of the boat. And now you're going to want to wait until nighttime. Now for the next step, go ahead and place down a couple temporary blocks like this, then go in and place down two slabs so that our zombie doesn't burn. And then you can get rid of our temporary blocks as a zombie will sit inside this book. Now you're going to want to wait till nighttime and find yourself a zombie. Then you're going to want to get him to chase you and he should end up near the boat just like this and he'll end up inside. So once you have it inside, you can get back to daytime. So as you guys can see, another zombie just joined in, but that doesn't really matter. You just need a minimum of one zombie inside the boat and the farm should work. And guys, you're either going to want to name tag the zombie or find yourself a zombie that can hold an item like the second zombie right here who's holding a shovel, which means that he'll never despawn. So you can either name tag them or find a zombie that's holding something, which make it so that they don't despawn but once you have your zombies in place all you need to do is get yourself some armadillos which you can easily get from savannah biome so all you have to do is go to a savannah biome and then bring the armadillos over so you need a minimum of two armadillos right here and once they're inside as you guys can see they should instantly curl up into a ball and start taking damage and they're actually curled up because of the zombies being nearby and in their curled up state they actually do not take any damage from cactus so that is why this farm is fully infinite and now with the use of spider eyes you can breed them up until you're happy with the amount of armadillos inside the farm i recommend having about five to ten but any more than that and your game might lag out because the amount of silver fish spawning will be a lot so just get about five to six in there and that should be good enough and yeah that's actually the farm complete now i'll show you how you can use this farm but before we get to use the farm you'll need to get yourself some potions of infestation here's how you can do that and now to get this farm to work you'll need to make some of these potions of infestation and to make those you will need some stone blocks some gunpowder some nether warts some blaze rods some empty water bottles and a brewing stack. You're going to want to dig a two by two into the hole like this and then place two water buckets on opposing corners like that to make an infinite water source. Now go ahead and place down your brewing stand and just get yourself some water bottles as well. Then open the brewing stand and place in your three water bottles. Then into that, you're going to want to first place in some blaze powder and some nether warts. And once that's done brewing, you should get some awkward potions. So the next step, you're going to want to place in some stone block. And once it's done brewing, you should get some normal potions of infestation. But to turn them into splash potions, all you have to do is just place in a gunpowder. And finally, once you're done, we have our splash potions of infestation. And now to use the farm, once you guys have your portion of infestation, all you have to do is look down this hole and splash it down just like that. And as soon as the armadillos get affected, they should spawn a whole bunch of silverfish, which then get ejected out the side and end up right here under the trap door. And you can actually stand here and kill them manually or wait until the farm stops producing them and use splash potions of harming to instantly kill them all at once. And we have all the silverfish down here and you can just use a couple splash potions of harming and kill all of them at once. So now that there's a whole lot of silverfish down here, I'm just going to be splashing them down just like this. So as you guys saw, just from that one potion, we're able to get 18 levels. And there's still a whole bunch more waiting to come out. And so as you guys saw, just from one minute of the farm being on, we're able to get about 20 levels super, super quickly. And you guys, that's it. That's how you can build yourself a truly infinite XP farm for the brand new 1.21.44 edition of Minecraft Bedrock. 